Hello and welcome to the 13th video. In the last video we managed to save our high score. As you can see I still have 9,715. 9, and we also, also made some spikes that reset our score and our coins to zero when we hit them. So I was thinking in this video that we are going to create a power up that prevents us from losing our score when we hit a spike. And also we are going to create spikes randomly and that we will do with the power up too, just like we do with our coins. So I'm gonna start with that. This video will probably be a bit more fast paced than the others, because there's a lot to do. So, But we have already done all this before, so just go back to, I believe it was the 10th video, we created a timer. So we're gonna create a new private int timer spikes for our spikes. And we're going to go down to update timers, timer spikes plus plus, if timer spikes more than or equal to let's say 75, we're going to do spikes dot add new spikes this dot spikes bmp dot this dot get width, we're going to paste that right side of the screen plus 24 24 is the width of our spikes you may have a different but the mine is 24 is that that's zero timer spikes we're gonna set it back to zero I had another thing in mind too so we can create so the spikes doesn't come up exactly at the same time over and over again. I'm going to create private int timer random spikes. I'm going to set that to zero. So, we can go in here. Now every time this resets, we're going to set our timer random spikes to new we're going to have to create a new random, random, random spikes equal to new random uh, and we're going to do random spikes dot next int and it's going to have three so we have to do this switch random spikes timer random spikes we can make a switch statement of that case zero if it's zero we're gonna go ahead and break it if it's one we're gonna if the timer spikes is more than or equal to let's say 125 so if the randomly generated number is one we're gonna create the spike later we're just gonna copy this and every time it creates a spike it's gonna reset the random number so case two if timer spikes more than or equal to 50 We'll create that and we're gonna break this case. There comes some random generated coins and there is our spike. As you can see it will just keep on creating new spikes and new coins as long as we run it. If you think about it we have a little game already. And now it's time to add a power up. So I'm gonna start by creating a new object and we're gonna name it power up shield. I'm gonna start fast forwarding now because we have already done this in other videos.
There we go. Now I'm just gonna draw our power up shield. And I'm just gonna fast forward this part too. Now we're gonna decide to do what's gonna happen when the player picks up the power up. We're gonna create a new ball game. We're gonna name it to say private boolean player got power up shield equals to false. I'm gonna set another timer private and player power up power up shield. Timer equals 120. I'm gonna go down here to where the player collides. We're gonna set player got power up shield to true. <laughs> Wasn't that what we named it? Shouldn't have picked such a long name. Player got power up shield. Player. We're gonna that's fixed. And we're gonna go to our spikes. Spikes as check collision. Here. If player if not player got power up shield, then this is gonna happen. Our score will be zero and our coins collected will be zero. If not else, spikes dot remove. Let's remove i. So if we have the power up shield, it's gonna remove the spikes and destroy them. If we do not, it's gonna set our coins zero and our coins collected to zero. I'm gonna set player got power up shield to false and also in our timer event up the timers we're gonna set if player got power up shield player got power up player got power up shield player power up shield timer minus minus if player power up shield timer is less than zero less than or equal to zero we're gonna set it we're gonna set the player got power up shield to false and we're gonna set our power up shield timer to 120 when we pick up it Just 120. And we're gonna check to see if it works. So we have our power up there. It, we got a little error because we forgot to change this to get its own bounds. So we're gonna do this. Old shield. Let's get I. Let's get bounds. Now I believe everything should work. There's always something wrong, isn't it? There we go. Okay, our game hasn't crashed yet, so it's a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our power up shield. We're gonna see if we can destroy this spike. Yes, it was destroyed. Now let's see if it has got removed. We shouldn't be able to destroy another spike. But there might be some error in our code. I don't think so. Yes, our code works perfectly. Now we're just gonna add our shields randomly also, like we have done with our other coins and our spikes. I'm gonna fast forward this part too, so hold on.
I believe that sometimes our spike spawns too close to each other, so I'm gonna erase the numbers a bit. To 75 also, no? 100. And the timer power up shields values are higher because I don't want them to spawn as frequently as our coins and our spikes. We're just full in the game. Switch our timer random power up shield, not our power up shield. I'm gonna set this to zero just to make it spawn faster. And I'm gonna cut the video once again. Now our game should work as it is supposed to. Just gonna grab this power up. Our power up shields should spawn soon. About 150 or so. There we go, we have one. And we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna see if it works. So that was all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video we are gonna animate our player a bit. We're gonna make it when he jumps, it's gonna look like he's jumping. The player sprite is gonna change. We're also gonna change it when he picks up the shield. So it's like a glowing orb or something around him. And yeah, that's pretty much all we'll do in the next video. Stay tuned for it. Bye bye everybody, please subscribe and leave a comment below. Have a nice day.